Hi guys, it's me Shazer HD and welcome to this incident analysis for the incidents from the 2019 Belgian Grand Prix at Spa. Now for this video, we are only going to be looking at one key incident from the race at Spa because there was only, for me, one key incident that really did massively decide the result in the Grand Prix. And of course, it is Max Verstappen and Kimi Raikkonen's crash at La Source on the first lap at of course turn one now my opinion of this crash after you know seeing it live on tv is now different to what it was uh, when i shared my opinion on it during the race review because after looking at more replays and you know looking at the incident uh slowed down my opinion is now different i still believe both drivers have to at least share some blame but my opinion is now different when it comes to what happens. So let's first look at this crash from Max Verstappen's onboard camera. So as we all know, Max Verstappen has a poor start and the Alfa Romeo of Kimi Raikkonen and the racing pointer Sergio Perez are starting to go past him. But because this is Max Verstappen, he does not want to get held up behind cars that are definitely slower than his. So what he starts to do is essentially dive bomb both drivers at turn one. Now, this at this type of corner, a dive bomb, it can work, but you do need a willing partner if you're going to do so and not come out with any damage. So he has to hope that Kimi Raikkonen, you know, gives him enough room to do so. It's a difficult corner to do, you know, such a thing. And as we get to this point with Max Verstappen and Kimi Raikkonen, now, as I will show at a different angle in a moment, Kimi Raikkonen should have given Max Verstappen more space. No doubt about it whatsoever. But I don't believe Max Verstappen had to be this aggressive on the first lap. Yes, Raikkonen should not have, uh, you know, should have left him room. But at the time... You can't be thinking, well, he should leave me room. You've got to deal with, you know, the circumstances that are currently happening when you're on the circuit. And I don't believe Max Verstappen should have gone, you know, charging in there and done what he did. I, I don't believe he should have. I think what he should have done is outbreak, of course, the racing point of Perez, which he did, uh, did very easily. But I don't think he should have been this aggressive with Kimi Raikkonen. I think he should have been less aggressive and been a bit more cautious and tried to pass him on the exit of the corner instead of straight away. But again, Kimi Raikkonen did not leave him enough room and did turn in. And because of that, Max Verstappen was basically pinned up against almost the wall at La Source. And then... Of course, contact was made. Again, Max Verstappen should not have been as aggressive. But as I will show now, Kimi Raikkonen definitely did not leave enough room for Max Verstappen to, you know, get through the corner with him. So now you can see the aerial shot. So again, Raikkonen and Perez are slightly ahead of Max Verstappen. They have had a better start to the Grand Prix. But of course, again... Max Verstappen wants to get past as soon as possible. Now, at this point, you can see Max Verstappen now starting to dive bomb past Kimi Raikkonen. But at this point, right before the contact is made, you can clearly see to the left of Kimi Raikkonen, there is plenty of space. And if we go back, actually, a couple pictures... You can see that Kimi has plenty of space on his left to take the racing line into turn one. But he doesn't decide to do that. He decides to take a very tight line into turn one. And that's really why the crash did happen. Yes, again, Verstappen was overly aggressive, in my opinion. But Raikkonen was too unaware, I think, of what was around him he should have known that he had no one to his left and that he could take the racing line and get a great run on everyone out of the corner 
such as, you know, Verstappen if he did dive in there, and also the two Mercedes and Ferrari cars ahead. So I think Kimi's lack of spatial awareness at that point of, you know, going into the corner, absolutely. Again, as you can see here, really does cause this crash. If he was more to the left like he should have been, if he had actually known what was around him, then I don't think this crash would have happened. It would have been close, but I don't think it would have happened at all. So I think Kimi Raikkonen absolutely caused um, the crash majority-wise. Again, Verstappen was overly aggressive, but I think Kimi is more to blame than Max Verstappen. But I would say it is a racing incident. I don't believe this is something you need to you know, penalise someone over. I don't believe Kimi Raikkonen deserves a penalty for this. You know, it's the first lap, it's the first corner. These things are going to happen. How many times have we seen a crash at the first corner at Spa? It happens basically every race. So, you know, that's just the way it is and you've got to accept it. Uh, but Kimi Raikkonen for me was mostly at fault for that crash. But guys, that has been it for this shorter than usual incident analysis from the 2019 Belgian Grand Prix. I just want to let you guys know the plan going forward for content though also. So on Wednesday, me and Nib are going to record and upload a preview for the Italian Grand Prix at Monza. That will be coming out Wednesday at 12pm UK time. And then on Thursday at 12pm UK time, I will be uploading possibly two videos one is definite and that is a tribute to Antoine Hubert for obvious reasons but there is a strong possibility that Nico Hulkenberg will be announced as a Haas driver on that Thursday so there might be a chance I'll be going live that day as well for that news so make sure to um you know stay tuned to the channel you know especially around wednesday and thursday and then hopefully if my tech issues are sorted out and i think they definitely will be improved upon for sure then i will be doing a practice to watch along a qualifying and race watch along and a qualifying and race review and the same Incident analysis as you're watching right now. We'll be doing that this time next week for the Italian Grand Prix also. So don't forget guys to subscribe for that content coming up. Bottom right of the screen you can do it right there. Or go to my homepage, subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Also don't forget to hit the like button if you want to see this content continue. And also make sure to hit the like button uh, to help out the channel because it does help us you know grow and get noticed also comment down below what you thought of this video and what did you think of this crash who was at fault and what for you caused the crash to happen let me know in the comments and i will respond and debate if you guys you know disagree but also you know don't forget to join my discord server link below in the description best place for notifications of my videos and also don't forget to hit the like on my facebook that's ChazRHDF1 for the Facebook. And the Twitter is at Chaz6110. And don't forget as well to check out my website, ChazRHD.com, for more content like this. But guys, until the next video coming up on Wednesday, previewing the next Grand Prix, it has been me, ChazRHD. Goodbye.